Praise the Lord, this is Brother Paxton. I just want to read a few verses here from the 68th Psalm. The Bible says, May God arise, may his enemies be scattered. May his foes flee before him. May you blow them away like smoke, as wax melts before the fire. May the wicked perish before God. But may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. Hallelujah. I can live a life every day, no matter what I face, no matter the challenges, with happiness and with joy before the Lord because of the Holy Spirit He's put within me when I gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ. So, I mean, we have, I have problems, I have challenges and difficulties that face me almost every single day. But I am not overcome, I am an overcomer in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And I overcome by the word of the Lord, by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of my testimony. Praise God. And it says here, sing to God, sing praise of His name. Extol Him who rides on the clouds. Rejoice before Him. His name is the Lord. His name is Jehovah. Hallelujah. Father to the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in his holy dwelling. God sets the lonely in families. I want to tell you I've seen this happen so many times. A person who is alone in the world and God has put them in the company of dear saints that loves and nurtures that individual. We talk a lot about the problems in the church world and we talk a lot about you know how pe people are rude and people are indifferent and people are inconsiderate but I want to tell you that God has an army of people out here who are doing it right hallelujah and just because we might not know them today doesn't mean that they're not there and the whole church world isn't failing praise God God has some success stories out there who are walking not after the flesh but after the Holy Spirit praise God and so there are people out there who are loving Jesus with all of their hearts and they will love you too if you're lonely today if you need that companionship that friendship that fellowship that family today God has someone to send into your life God sets the lonely in families. He leads out the prisoners with singing. Hallelujah. But the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. And I've often said this. The problem with a lot of people is they have too high of expectations of others. Expectations that they can't even live up to themselves and it causes problems in relationships. And the rebellion, when you rebel against God's way of doing things, when you rebel against the way God thinks, and that's how he wants us to think, when you rebel against that, you're going to live as if in a sun-scorched land. When you, God, went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook, the heavens poured down rain before God, the one of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel. You gave abundant showers, O oh God. You refreshed your weary inheritance. Hallelujah. I'm praying for all of you right now today that you will experience the abundant showers of God. Hallelujah. That you will experience a refreshing from the Lord Almighty in your heart and in your life today. That you will experience your needs met by the blood of Jesus Christ, that you will experience a reversal of misfortune today in the name of Jesus. We come into agreement in prayer with you over these issues right now. Heavenly Father, touch my neighbor, touch my friend, touch my television audience, touch my partners right now, God, and send them abundant showers of blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Father, that you will heal those sick bodies. We pray that you will deliver those who are bound by habits and addictions. We pray that you will bless financially, Lord, those who need a blessing. Father God, we thank you for it because of the blood of Jesus. We praise and worship you for it today, and we believe we receive it in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Glory to God, I love that psalm. And I thank you for being a part of this battlefield tour with us via video. 
So far, we've had about six neighbors and friends who have come down to be with us. We had Dennis O'Daniel, uh, we had Mark and Susan Knopf. There was a couple from Virginia that we met, and yesterday we met an instructor uh, for FEMA, and we all spent some time together. Uh, praise the Lord, we've got Anna and Dan Aquino coming in yet uh, tomorrow, and we just thank you for being a part of it also by video. Thank you for watching these videos. Thank you for supporting this ministry. God bless you, and we'll see you a little further on up the road in Jesus' name.